If you don't want your elbows wide apart, that brings the shoulders crunching in around the neck. So elbow shoulder distance, try to get your hands right in front of the elbows and press the inner wrist down. Now beginners, you can clasp hands if you need to. It's a little bit easier when you push your palms together, but you still don't let your elbows go wide apart. Elbows are shoulder distance. And then curl your toes under, walk it back, and try to get in a straight line from the top of the head through the heels. Now I'm gazing towards my fingertips or towards my thumbs. Push your heels back, squeeze your inner thighs in, and press them up towards the ceiling. Engage your core. Activating the legs will help you find more core. And then try to pull your heart forward. Shoulder blades down the back and wide shoulders. So squeeze your elbows in, widen your shoulders. Heart forward, shoulder blades down the back, but don't lose your core. Pull those front ribs in, engage the core. All this helping us find shoulder stability, helping us find the core. It's like the body's fighting against itself. 